Slayer. Yo guys, what is up? It's Master Darius here, bringing you some Halo 4 gameplay. And in this gameplay, I'm playing with a good friend of mine, David. Um, who popped it, um, who uh, came over to my house today. And obviously, this was a split screen match because we both played together. And um, so yeah, I was playing in split screen mode. And still, I played. I had a very good game, and it's a very, very high score. Um, I went here 29 to one, I believe, or at least 24 to five. I managed to get here a frenzy. Um, I almost got a running ride, but uh, or maybe I'm not. I think I might have captured a running ride, but next match I got a running ride and the rampage. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, I don't know what you guys, but I, I mean, I haven't played Halo 4 in a while yet. I mean, I was, I mean, I'm still, and I will continue to enjoy the beauty of next gen. Like I finally got now friends to play the next gen games with, and it's even more fun. But um, today, since my friend came over to my house, I don't have yet a second Xbox One controller, so we um. Obviously, I haven't played much of the Xbox One. <laughs> I mean, we barely at all. I mean, we. I mean, I just only played one Extinction game. Apology goes to show him some Xbox One, and we kept changing after we destroyed one hive. Um, but yeah, I stepped back, and we both really enjoyed Halo 4. I mean, it was a blast to play Halo 4 again. I mean, it, I found so much enjoyment, and uh, I mean, I can't believe that I still got so much skill in this game, even though I. I haven't played it in a while. I mean, I, and I'm, I'm still like pro. I'm getting. I might be getting even better, to be honest. I don't know. I mean, I might be the same skill ever, but I haven't, definitely aren't going worse. But anyway, what this video is, is going to be a two-parter to this. Now, what is going to be about is in this video here, I'm going to be discussing how free of free industries can build an audience and have a large audience before and at release date. In my second video, which is coming up today as well, or maybe tomorrow, I'm going to be discussing how free free industries can keep their audience once they got them, once they got their audience, and uh, I mean the players. Audience means players. Sorry. So, since I don't have much time, it's gonna be a little fast here. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the fast-paced gameplay in the background. Um. So yeah. So, obviously, so we won't get any Halo 5 news until March, I believe. I mean, I believe we'll get news in March or at least in early 2014, maybe in February, who knows. I believe it could be in February or March. Perhaps we might get a little teaser of something. Of something. Sorry, I got, I got hiccups, damn it. In January, but um... Nobody knows yet, to be honest. This is speculation. We have any time in 2014, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, Free for Free did a very good job building an audience and gain gain hype for the game before he was released. A very good job, in my eyes, in my opinion. And what they do, what they need to do, they definitely need to do, do the same format, like keep releasing um, exciting news and gameplays. Yeah, new gameplays, and they need to show off like the weapons and stuff, stuff like that. Stuff showing off the game at least. Definitely on S. Definitely they need to um, show off some images of a game, concept art, campaign footage, like some footage to get people hyper game, and of course a trailer, like an official trailer, not a teaser trailer. But surprisingly, the teaser trailer for Halo 5 even actually built a lot of hype for the game. And what they could do after they built their hype, they need to keep posting the gameplay, not spoil too much, and they need to offer the community stuff which get the community really interested and definitely worth buying the game. For example, a competitive ranking system from launch, that's one example. Um, balanced weapons, cool weaponry, and amazing maps. And Perhaps, you know, clan support would be pretty good as well. And obviously, like what they did with Halo 4 Limited Edition, and special bonuses for pre-ordering, and bonuses you can achieve, and yeah. 
and also perhaps maybe a beta like a beta for free which you can perhaps download within the Xbox Live on the Xbox One for free I mean that would be pretty cool I mean you don't know, or maybe you might have a purchase perhaps Spartan Assault to get uh, gain access to it something like that so um but if it's free, it would be even better because the um, because then people who see it for free, oh, I mean, see there's something a beta for free, oh, maybe I should give Halo Five a try to see what it's like before I actually pay sixty euros to get the game. And they'll play it, and they might get a blast out of a beta, and then they'll probably definitely buy the game for Christmas or whatever or on its release date. And that, my friends, is a quick. It was a very quick video indeed, and as a quick summary of how free to free can gain an audience. In most simplistic and fastest summary ever. And next video, I'll be, uh, next video will be a little bit longer, and we, I'll, I got even an uh, even higher score. Anyway, my friend was second, he got 50 kills, and I got 23. Sorry, I lied, I went 23 to 1. Alright, um... So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.